Hello Cancers and Cross Watchers. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading for June 2nd to June 9th, 2019. Um, if this video or the reading resonates with you, please be sure to hit the like button and just tap on the red subscribe button on the bottom left hand corner of the video. Okay. If the reading does not resonate with you, uh, please keep in mind that this is a general reading and to also check your moon and rising signs your venus sign also um any one of my subscribers will be receiving ten dollars off their first personal reading with me of 35 dollars or more you can see information listed in the description box below um you can book a personal reading at my website www.thetaroflight.com um, I will also be choosing one subscriber a month to get a free reading with me for both love and career. Okay, Cancer, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So what messages do we have for love for Cancer, June 2nd to June 9th, 2019? Love messages for Cancer, June 2nd to June 9th. 2019. What messages do we have for cancers? Okay, so we do have some earth sign here, Cancer, a lot of earth. Um, that could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We have some air signs, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus energy. We do have some fire here, which is um, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy. A lot of major arcana cards, goodness. Beautiful ones, though. I mean, beautiful. Okay. Okay, Cancer. So, the overall energy of the reading today for next week is going to be the sun. Okay, so we're going to have some growth and recovery coming into June, Cancer. We're going to have some growth and recovery. Now, I'm showing here the Justice card is clarified by the Emperor. Now, the Emperor um, can be Aries energy. So I'm feeling that you're going to be getting some justice with your person, okay? Maybe you've invested a lot of time, you've, you've sacrificed a lot with this person, and I feel like now things are really going to start um, moving in your direction. I think that things are going to start growing with you and your person. Um, basically, everything that you've invested into this person is going to start really paying off cancer, okay? And again, this can be vice versa, all right? So I'm showing here that you have done, again, a lot of waiting and sacrificing for this person. A lot of waiting, sacrificing, just hanging around, maybe waiting for them to make a decision. Um, and, you know, this is, it's turned you into the, um, the King of Swords, okay? So the King of Swords is, you know, you've kind of had to put your emotions aside. You've been thinking more with your head. Okay, you're trying not to be emotional about the situation because obviously, I mean, if you're getting justice now, this person did not treat you fairly in the past, Cancer, unfortunately. Um, they did not do right by you in the past and you waited. You, you love them enough to wait around and see what was going to happen with your person. And, you know, that had to, that caused you to have to cut off your emotion and think more with your head. Okay, now... Here we have the Ten of Pentacles, so we could be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy, and I feel like you have had, um, you know, your, your mind on your money. You, you just kind of cut off emotion, Cancer, and you've been focusing more on, uh, on making that money, okay? Um, now, being that this is clarified by the Nine of Swords, um, I feel like you're going to be getting messages that 
um, your person may need some help financially. That's, that's the energy that I'm getting here. Either you're going to need help from your person financially or they're going to need help from you financially. Because one of the underlining meanings here of the... Um, of the Ten of Pentacles is inheritance coming in through marriage, inheritance coming in through a partner. And we have the Nine of Wands here, which can represent communication. So I feel like someone's going to be communicating with you um, that they may need more money from you. But the Nine of Wands is also um, you protecting something, Cancer. So you may be, you know, making a little bit more money now that you're focused more on your money and not so much on your emotions. And your person may be coming in requesting a little bit more money from you or vice versa let's see so here we have the four of uh, pentacles um, and that is clarified by the temperance card so uh, the, I mean again a lot of pentacles here so I really do feel like we may be dealing with um, uh, a Virgo Capricorn Taurus it doesn't have to be um, they may have some fire in their chart uh, again Leo Sagittarius um, Aries energy okay because the Emperor did come out he does represent Aries so maybe he has some Aries in his chart um, but the four of Pentacles is you coming out of a hard time okay so again like I said this relationship is growing you are gonna be getting your your due diligence you are gonna be getting justice in the situation you are gonna so he's they're gonna start treating you fairly Okay. Um, and again, holding on to something. You're holding on to this person, Cancer. You're not letting them go. For whatever reason, even though they may have mistreated you or maybe not given you all the love and affection that you needed, um, you ha you did not want to let this go. Okay. And with temperance, um, you know, you're, you're, you were willing to balance. You were willing to wait. You were willing to negotiate on this. You were willing to... Um, you know, just balance out emotion and career apparently here. And, you know, even though you kind of emotionally disconnected a little bit and uh, focused more on your money, I'm feeling here, you, you know, you did not want to let them go. You didn't want to let this go. Okay. And obviously, I mean, so far from what I can see, that was a great decision because they're coming, you know, they're, they're, they're coming towards you and they're going to start, I feel like they're going to start treating you right, Cancer. So here we have the star. And the star is um, clarified by the three of wands. So I feel like what this is telling me is um, you and your person may not, um, you're not close, either whether it's emotional closeness right now, or maybe you're dealing with a long distance relationship, but you have a lot of hope because he's because he or she, because your person is gonna start treating you better um, coming to you with a new growth, new, just, I just feel newness. Like, even though yeah, I feel like you already know this person, Cancer, I, I, you, this is not a new beginning. This is definitely someone that you already know, but at the same time, I feel like it is a new beginning because they're going to be coming towards you with, they're going to be reciprocating the love that you have been giving. Okay. So you have hope that either you're going to, you know, cause the wands is travel. So either you're going to get closer to this person emotionally, or you have this hope that you want to go see this person. Um, and again, we have wands here, which can be, uh, Ag uh Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. Okay. So justice here, the justice card is clarified by the strength card. So I feel like this has been a hard time for you, Cancer, okay? You know, having to wait around, sacrificing, waiting around for somebody that you felt like maybe, do they love me? Do they not love me? Um, it, it was hard, okay? And that did take a lot of strength, all right? So um, you have learned through this to, to deal with the situation peacefully, okay? To not turn to your emotions and, and be emotional about the situation, but to sit back and be clear-minded. You've learned to evolve in that way where you're not letting your emotions take over so that you can have the patience to wait for this person. Now, the the uh, hanged man here, the the hanged man, which is your waiting and your sacrifice, is clarified for the, by the magician. So, the strength that you gained in learning how to be peaceful and patient um, during your time of waiting, during the sacrifice, has taught you how to manifest cancer. It's taught you how to pray, how to manifest. You know, you have really been thinking on, on your person. Um, some, 
there's a reason why you waited for this person to come around, okay? We do have a lot of earth energy here, so I feel like we may be dealing with a Virgo possibly because Virgos are very, you know, slow. Um, they, they analyze a lot. So, you know, that is a possibility. But whatever it is, your person, they, they, they were very slow in coming towards you and you did spend a lot of time waiting on this. Um, and, and you manifested it. You're, you're man, you, you, you feel like this person is for you. You, you feel something for them and that's why you waited so much. Um, and you manifested this, them coming towards you. You manifested being treated correctly in this, um, in this relationship and you're getting it. You're, you're going to get your justice here. You're going to get treated fairly. Now, we have the Ten of Pentacles being being clarified by the um, the Six of Swords, okay? So again, this goes back to what I was saying. I feel like, see, the Six of Swords is you leaving a bad situation and wanting to move to calmer waters, okay? So being that this person took so long in, in coming towards you, and it, that probably hurt you, Cancer. I'm sure that it did, having to wait around loving somebody that you weren't sure loved you back. Okay, so you moved away from the emotional part of this relationship and you focused your money, your mind more on your money. Okay, you, you just, you know, you, you put your mind first and not your heart first so that you were able to cut, you know, cut out being emotional in that way. Um, and you moved to calmer waters, which was your finances. So that that clarifies that. Now, the um, four of pentacles is clarified by the page of pentacles again a lot of earth here so uh, you know i really do feel like we may be dealing with capricorn taurus virgo energy okay so the page of pentacles is um you know a message coming in it's your person coming in and, and giving you a message um telling you to hold on okay i feel like because this this has to do with holding on um i feel like you know they're going to be giving sending you messages a message is going to come in that makes you know that holding on was the right thing to do all right again because you are getting your justice here now the star is being clarified by the fool which again is new beginnings okay remember when i told you it doesn't feel like it's like a, a totally new beginning i don't feel like this is a new love cancer but i do feel like you know, again, you have hope, which was clarified by going to see this person or getting more emotionally closer to this person. And that is, you know, clarified by the fool, which is beginnings. And it's also taking risks. So, you know, you've been waiting around for this person. I feel like you opened up to this person initially and they were very slow and in, in responding back to you. And, you know, you may feel a little bit like, okay, so now they're coming back towards me. Is it safe for me to open myself up again? What if they, you know, kind of shut themselves off again? So it may be a little bit of a risk for you when they, when they send you this message of, you know, don't let go, hold on. I'm going to start treating you fairly. I'm coming. I, I keep hearing this word these words I'm coming you know um, I'm, I'm coming towards you so whatever's happening in your person's life that you know maybe they've been hurt really badly in the past um, because again like I said there's a lot of growth and recovery here so this could be on your part or, or you know your person's part um, but this relationship is helping helping both of you grow because you have gained a lot of strength here. You're learning how to manifest. You're learning patience and waiting. Okay, so um, you've learned to kind of put your emotions to the side. Uh, it has helped you financially because you've kind of taken all that energy uh, that that hurt of being pushed to the side and put it towards your finances. Um, so, you know, this is saying have hope, take that, take that risk, take that leap, open your heart to this person again. Now, the emperor is being clarified by the nine of swords. You see, what did I tell you? This person, um, your person did put you through a lot, Cancer, okay? Not that unrequited love feeling, because I don't get the feeling that this person didn't love you. I just feel like maybe at the time they weren't ready to express that love, okay? But um, it did hurt you. It kept you up at night, uh, a lot of, you know, fear, anxiety. Am I doing the right thing? Should I wait? Should I stay? Should I go? Uh, again, this is Aries energy, okay? So I'm uh, not Aries energy energy this is Aries energy but the swords is air energy so Gemini Libra um, Aquarius energy okay so we have Aries Gemini Libra Aquarius energy so this person did put you through a lot cancer they did um, now the king of swords the king of swords is being clarified by the seven of swords 
And what I feel like this is telling me is, is that this person, you know, you were giving a lot of love to this person. They were taking it. They were taking your love, not responding, which caused you to have to cut your emotions out. Okay. Because it was hurting you, Cancer. It was hurting you. Um, but I do feel like this is in the past. I really do feel like it's in the past. I feel like, you know, justice is going to be coming in for the month of June. Now here we have the nine of wands, which again is fire energy, Leo Sagittarius, um, Aries energy being clarified by the nine of pentacles, which is um, again, more earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. So the nine of pentacles is being financially stable, being independent, okay? So again, if we look here, these three cards are back to back here. So you have the financial dependence, you have the, the nine of wands and being financially stable. So like I mentioned, this person may be financially relying on you in some way, or you may be financially relying on them. Um, but I do feel like they may be, you know, they may be coming towards you to, for money or you may be coming towards them for money. They, they do see you as a financially stable person, Cancer. Now, temperance, okay, is clarified by the eight of swords, all right? So, again here, we had the four of pentacles with temperance, which means don't let go. You made the decision to not let go, but it was hard. The Eight of Swords is a feeling of, do I belong here? Should I stay? Should I stay with this person? You know, do they love me back? Is this worth my time? I really feel like that has been your energy in, in, in the past. Um, now, I know this reading is for June 2nd to June 9th, but with Cancers, the past always resonates in the future, okay? So going into June, I feel like a little bit of this energy is going to be with you, Cancer. A little bit of this pain um, is going to be with you, okay? Um, but I'm not going to say pain because I feel like you've kind of put this to the side. You've, you've put your emotional part of yourself to the side. You've been focusing more on your finances. Um, but I do feel like this person 100% is going to be coming in and I feel a growth, a newness in this relationship. I feel, you know, your hope is going to start coming back because they are going to, you know, look at this here. If you look at this spread, we've got justice on one end and hope on the other. So you're, you know, it like starts with you being treated fairly and all this other bad stuff is kind of in the middle of it. So this is, this is, you know, the, the past kind of wearing off cancer. It's just, you know, going to, you know, cause you're a cancer. So it, it, the past just sticks with you. So, but there is hope. Take the risk because there is hope here. Now the three of wands is being clarified by the moon. Okay. So again, you do have hope that this person is going to come towards you emotionally or that you're going to be able to see this person because again i don't know if the distance is emotional or physical like if you're not together physically or maybe separated or there's an emotional distance there um but this you have this it, this is how it looks you've got the hope that you guys are going to get closer together and you know the unknown the moon stands for the unknown okay so if we look at the spread here cancer on one end here, we have the fool, which is taking risks and new beginnings. And at the end here, we have unknown, okay? So I feel like in a way, like I said previously, you feel a little scared. You feel, you know, they're going to come back towards you. They're going to start showing you some love, okay? Um, but you're scared because I'm showing here that you're going to be going into June a little worried about, you know, in the past I opened my heart to you and now you're coming toward me and if I open my heart to you again, I don't know what's going to happen. And I've already gotten to that point where I've overcome my emotions and I'm, you know, I've put up my, you know, I'm thinking with my head now, I'm, I'm thinking about my money, which is rare for cancers. That's really rare. You know, cancers are very emotional. Okay. So that's rare. And, you, and you're kind of like wanting to hold on to, to what you've achieved. You're holding on to the strength that you've achieved. And, you know, by letting ourselves love, we do become vulnerable again. Okay. So let's see what the romance angels have to say. Um, but I don't, I honestly, Cancer, have to tell you, I don't feel any bad energy here. 
okay i don't feel any bad energy coming into june i actually feel like you're going to be shedding a lot of these feelings um because this person is going to do right by you that's how the whole reading started out they are going to do your person is going to do right by you cancer and again this can be vice versa but i feel like they're going to come in they're going to do right by you and their love is going to heal all this waiting and sacrificing that you've been going through there's going to be growth and renewal in this relationship um, I don't feel like this is someone new. I feel like this is someone that you've been dealing with for a little bit now. Um, but, you know, you've waited, you've put your time in, you've sacrificed, you've focused on yourself while they got their mind right and they, they figured out what, what it is that they wanted. And, um, you know, I feel like they're choosing you because you have the page of pentacles there where they, they're reaching out to you. They're, they're giving you hope to hold on. They're right there next to you. We have justice here. The emperor's right there. So let's see what the romance angels have to say. So children, your love life is being affected by children, past life relationship, you have known each other before, separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon, and the underlining energy here is stay optimistic about your love life. Stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, okay? So... What I'm getting here is, again, the separation, okay? So, I, as I mentioned, I don't know if you guys are emotionally separated right now or distance, maybe in a long-term relationship, but there is hope here. There, there, please have hope that this is going to work out because take the risk, open your heart to this person. I mean, you have to use your intuition, obviously, but... I, I really do feel like great things are coming here. And the past life relationship is why you've been holding on, Cancer. Okay? The past life relationship is why you have been holding on. Um, this person may not have treated you fairly and you're thinking to yourself, why am I still holding on to this? I feel trapped. They're giving me anxiety. They're, I feel like they're taking from me. I don't know what to do with this. Um, you know, I, I just... I need to move on to calmer waters. This isn't something, you know, I'm not getting any love here. Why am I holding on to this person? And that's because you have known them in a past life. This is someone that your soul recognizes, Cancer. Now, it says here, children, your love life is being affected by children. I do not see any third-party situation here, Cancer. So what I do feel like is that the energy that I feel is that your person is immature. They are growing. As you see here, growth and recovery, Cancer, okay? I feel like your person may be younger than you, um, or, but whatever the case may be, um, they are growing as a person here. So that's why it has taken them so long. Okay, and when it comes down to stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. We have the magician card here, Cancer. Okay, like I said, you're manifesting this. You're trying to stay positive. You're trying, you know, to put your, your mind over your emotions. You're trying to grow as a person and not be so emotional. You've got your mind on your money. Um, you know, you're, you're protecting yourself here. You're, you're, you're trying to balance everything out. Okay, now here to clarify, to clarify your um, energy card, to clarify your energy card, uh, which was the sun, growth and recovery, you have the knight of cups. Okay, so the knight of cups is love. This person is going to bring you love. They're coming towards you with love. And here we have the world, which means that coming into June Cancer, this cycle of them, you know, I'm not going to say they pushed you away, but this cycle of emotional separation or physical separation is going to end and something new and beautiful is going to begin. And look at this. Under here, we have the four of wands. Four of wands is communication, but it's also reward. It's success. It's, it's the honeymoon card it means that they're going to come to you they're going to come to you with love this this past whatever you and your person have been going through the emotional distance the physical distance the separation it's going to end you have held on because you've known this person in a past life this is a soul energy here and um your souls recognize each other cancer and and that's why you've been holding on absolutely beautiful Hold on, Cancer. It's going to get better, okay? Well, if you liked your reading, please be sure to hit the like button and um, the subscribe button so that any future posts I uh, put up, you'll get right on your feed, okay? Have a great day, Cancer. Take care.